The Maselli Group presents seminars and workshops, advanced presentation skills for financial professionals with Frank Maselli, financial industry expert and author of the best-selling book, Seminars, The Emotional Dynamic. Episode 1, Why Workshops Work. Hi, I'm Frank Maselli. Welcome back for Episode 1, Why Workshops Work. You know, seminars and workshops are extremely powerful events, but some of you may not realize just how potent they really are, how much impact they can have both on your business and on the client's benefit. So let me just cover this for a moment because I think it's very important and I think it will shine a highlight on the entire workshop process. Why workshops work? Number one reason is that they highlight you. In the entire financial universe, all the products that we talk about, all the mutual funds, the stocks and bonds, all of these are complete commodities. They can be gotten from any financial advisor in the world. None of that makes you unique and special. The only product that makes you special, the only product that cannot be commoditized is you. In my case, 280 pounds of Sicilian obnoxiousness from Staten Island. This is what I sell. If you like this, we've got a great relationship. If you don't like this, get the mutual funds from somebody you do like. The seminar workshop environment highlights you. It lets you focus the audience's attention on what you bring to the table, and it lets you differentiate yourself from the competition. Extremely important. Number two, they're great for prospects and for clients. Workshops are not just prospecting events for strangers. They can also help you deepen your existing relationships with your current clients. Do something we call cross-solving. Cross-solving is where you're able to solve multiple problems for the same client. This is essential today. People have very complex problems. And the workshop environment gives you the chance to teach people some of the different solutions that you may have available. The third reason is they leverage your time. Time leveraging is very important. We measure a statistic in marketing called brain time. Brain time is defined as the time that somebody is actually paying attention to you while you're talking. On the typical phone call, you get less than 15 seconds of brain time. People are basically trying to get off the phone while you're talking to them. You multiply that out in an aggressive calling campaign, 30 contacts a day over 300 days a year, you've achieved a grand total of 30 hours of brain time. Instead, do one public presentation, put 30 people in a room for an hour, and you've achieved the same amount of focus, the same amount of attention as you did with an entire year of intense phone work. Leveraging your business is very important when you're trying to grow. You want to tell a story once and have multiple people hear that story. Again, very critical. Seminars and workshops let you educate and educate the right way. This is important. Let me spend a minute on this. Right now, the public gets their information about money and investing from where? From the media. And in many cases, that information is very tainted and it's very short-term oriented. And frankly, it's extremely damaging. I think the single greatest crime ever perpetrated against the American investor has been CNBC. Bottom line is, when you are doing a workshop or an event, you get to control the curriculum. You get to decide what to teach these people and how different topics relate together. And you get the time necessary to do it. Seminars and workshops actually make you a better professional. Now, this is interesting. When you have to learn something well enough to be able to teach it to a room full of people, you actually become a smarter financial professional. They give you confidence. The workshop environment forces you to become a better professional over time. And in my experience, the financial advisors who are able to get up in front of a room and inspire and motivate the best in the business, bar none. They help you generate referrals. Workshops are the cornerstone of something we call the event referral. I love referrals. I'm guessing most of you do as well. I wrote a book on referrals. Referrals are very complex events. We're not going to go into detail on that. But all I can tell you is seminars and workshops, if you do them well and your clients bring friends and colleagues to your workshops, the client gets tremendous prestige from your performance. They walk out and the friend turns to the client and says, wow, this guy was great. That's an extremely powerful bonding moment that you've achieved right there. And the other thing is they're low threat for the client. The client doesn't need to sell you to their friend. All the client needs to do is invite somebody to a workshop. 
very, very strong. Just doing a series of seminars, do quarterly seminars, one seminar a quarter throughout the entire calendar year, you will more than double your referral throughput. Finally, they let you speak with passion. You know, in our world, and I'm not going to hit this too hard for obvious reasons, but in our world, the attorneys and the compliance people have, in many cases, t taken a lot of the energy, a lot of the um, hyperbole, for sure, out of what we used to do. When I started in this business back in 1983, we got away with things that today, I mean, they'd shoot you on sight for doing some of the things we did back then. But, and I'm not saying this is bad. I'm not saying the attorneys have been bad. But they have sucked the life energy out of our business in many cases. The workshop environment lets you speak with passion. It is the final form of human communication where you can get excited in front of an audience. Your slides have to be approved, your handouts have to be approved, your script has to be approved, but no one will tell you where to put the passion. No one will tell you at what point in the seminar to get excited and which slides to skip. Occasionally you do skip some slides. And when they start sending compliance attorneys to seminars with football air horns going, bam, stop, you're getting too excited. When that happens, just get out of the business because it's game over. Until then, this is a pure form of communication. The best reason, and I saved this one for last, and I think it's the most important, is that seminars and workshops are tremendous fun. And they will let you use your unique ability. Unique ability is an interesting concept. Let me draw this for you on the board because I think it's worth learning. And I didn't invent this. This came from a fellow named Dan Sullivan at Strategic Coach, another one of those incredible geniuses in our profession. Dan Sullivan, somebody to pay attention to. Super successful people don't do everything. You take a super successful person. They take all their life skills and they narrow down what they do. Now this is interesting. Success at some point doesn't come from doing more. It actually comes from doing less. So how do really successful professionals narrow? They use three mechanisms. First, they only do things they're great at. They don't waste time on mediocrity. If you have a mediocre skill somewhere in your world, you know what? Stop doing it. You have no competitive advantage on mediocrity, plus it doesn't enhance your confidence in any way. Second cut, super successful people do things they absolutely love to do because they know they need to get their emotions engaged in the process. If you're doing an activity and it, you just don't enjoy it, you can't sustain it. You can't maintain the intensity necessary to become great at it. So focus on the things you love. The third cut, Super successful people do things that drive revenue. They don't waste time on activities that don't drive business. Now, I would add a fourth overlay to this entire mix, and I'm sure Dan would be okay with this. I think in the modern financial services profession, and we're not going to talk too much more about this, but it's very important, I think super successful professionals do things that actually help people when they do them. Very essential overlay, but we'll talk more about it. What you're seeing here in the middle of these three circles, I'm great at it, I love doing it, it drives revenue and it helps people, that's called your unique ability. And for many of you, seminars and workshops are your unique ability. Let me just talk about fun for just a moment. There are two reasons to have fun. One is a professional reason, one is a personal reason. The professional reason is easy. Who can tell when you're having fun? Well, you know what? Successful, intelligent investors want to work with successful, intelligent financial professionals. And if my financial advisor is, is, you know, Eeyore, if he depresses and confuses me every time I talk to him, what do I need him for? I'm already depressed and confused. I need somebody who's got some commitment, some passion, some conviction. So that's the professional reason. But the personal reason is actually more important. And fun, to me, is a critical commodity. I'm 55 years old, okay? Yes, I know, I look older, that's great. I am playing the back nine. Do you know what I mean metaphorically, the back nine? And I'm fat, I'm probably teeing off on 17 and I don't even realize it. I mean, I could stroke out on the way to the car this afternoon. What's my point? My point is that life is short. How many of you realize that life is short? Maybe you have to be a certain age for this appreciation to dawn on you, okay? If you're not having fun, if every day in this profession is a grind, if you're dragging yourself into work, what are you doing? What are you doing? You only get one shot. 
So my theory is, let's find things that really turn us on. And when you're doing something that turns you on, when you're doing something that excites you, success will find you. Other successful people seek out that power, that energy. So with all that, I think seminars and workshops make a lot of sense. And we're going to talk in great detail. Also, we have a historic opportunity. The opportunity today is that there's a massive amount of confusion and uncertainty in the world, more than there's ever been in my three decades in this business. I think people today are so confused and beaten about money and investing, they're terrified. There has never been a better time to be out there in front of the public doing workshops and educational events. This is our time to shine. Okay, so I've sold you on seminars and workshops conceptually. Now the question becomes, how do you make your workshops the most powerful they can possibly be? That's going to take us into episode two. Stay tuned.